Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Rams. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. To the air right away, Mariota. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first place sack, makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. Mariota's throw. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. The pass receiver turned into a runner, then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it. But for the defense, what a big-time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yard. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. An extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Aaron Donald, now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Here's Powell on the return. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. Stafford on first down. 
Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, the first drive here, and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Going right back to Akers. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 16 yards is the pickup there at a first down for L.A. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yard you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. They'll run on first down with Akers. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Here's a run with Akers on second down, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people. And he's got it. That's cut for a ram touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Rams go up by two touchdowns. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you give the defensive touchdown early, give you the first score, and then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, and we've had that conversation with prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. On second down, a run with Patterson. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. 
Mariota now. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Stafford. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Marlon Davidson just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to him. And I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. It's a gain of 34. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right on the money. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 56 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll go again here with Akers. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Cam Akers punching it in from a yard away. And the Rams have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown.
So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Twenty-one nothing. Our score after one. Second quarter now. Falcon football. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mariota and pressure coming, and they got him once again. Leonard Floyd, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. The sack backs him up, so now Mariota in Atlanta dealing with the third and long. He'll drop to throw. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered, and then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Oh, the return is Powell. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And they will take over first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. And it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Stafford now to throw. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary now on third. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. 90 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30.
Stafford going to give this to Akers. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Stafford on third down. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. From the red zone now, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. From the four, this is second down and one. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's Stafford. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Allen Robinson on the receiving end from Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Now Mariota. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. 
they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They go play action. Mariota completes to Zacchaeus. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing is Mariota. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. First and ten, it's Patterson. And yeah, he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Play action now. Mariota. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. On third down, Mariota. Now bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. Offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and ten. Now a first down throw, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard, and it's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Stafford. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. 
Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be Falcon football. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Throwing Mariota. This went into the hands of Pitts. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Five yards remain on second down. To throw is Mariota. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Brian Edwards from 21 yards away. And the Falcons are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And a start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Well, the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Stafford on first down. Open man, Higby, the tight end. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there... That can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's one of the longest tenured members of the Super Bowl champs, Tyler Higby, making the first down. Seventh year as a starter for L.A., just a stable presence for the Rams at the tight end spot with a dash of dynamic plays along the way. One of those starters who may be overlooked, but a key part of why they won the Lombardi Trophy. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Stafford. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. 
They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They give up the middle to Akers. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. It's a gain of a couple on what should be the final carry of half number one. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. Stafford and the Rams come up first and ten at their own 24. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Oh, able to avoid him. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 115 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On first and 10, Stafford. He'll get this one to cop complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. the fake to Akers. Here's Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now Stafford. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down and three. Throwing again is Stafford. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, to me, there is no question about the intent there, and I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Play action. Stafford. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. 
No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. But well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Fourth down, and we go from one Matt to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams field goal. Gay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. And they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. First and 10 now for the Falcons, and Mariota at their own 23. Now Patterson to start the drive, and he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week, to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional. In the battle of game plans, theirs has been superior. On second and seven, Mariota. And this will be caught by Edwards. Seven yards there and a first down. Straight ahead, Patterson. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Off the play fake, Mariota. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Leonard Floyd giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number is just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Mariota on first down. And complete to Drake London. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. 
And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to hand it off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wide out. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Mariota. Got this complete to the tight end pits. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And now it's third and four. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. On fourth down, Mariota is off, and on comes Atlanta's young way, Koo. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Koo knocks this one through the post, and they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Koo just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. To the 43, second down. Grady Jarrett with the tackle. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On the handoff, it's Akers. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Shifts by him, and he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here's Riley Dixon now. 
as he'll kick it away for the second time. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. We're well, certainly not going to see a better punt than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20, but instead, it comes out of bounds at the one-yard line. Beginning on the ground with Patterson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Mariota on third and two. And a throw there going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On the give, this is Akers. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Going right back to Akers. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The Rams on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. Stafford now to throw. And that is incomplete. The fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. They're ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. Batson not going to risk returning it, so they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. 
Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down. Mariota, another completion right back to Patterson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and 10, here's Mariota. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They'll come up now on second and a yard. From the gun, Mariota. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. They'll throw again, Mariota. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Mariota. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Mariota's throw caught by Bird here. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Second and four. Mariota. Throw left side. There's London. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Marcus Mariota 
scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Falcons get a bit closer. Partner, it wasn't that long ago that when I talked with these NFL coaches about different innovations in the college game, you can see their eyes roll and they, they just shut down right away. Don't bring me that Joe College stuff. Well, guess what? The college game has definitely infiltrated its way into the NFL. Yeah, and, so, and these guys, when you're seeing the option defensively, you got to stick to your assignments. I know that's cliche. They didn't do it there. And option football means exactly what you just talked about, assignment football for defenders. And that drives them crazy because you have to think your way through a play as opposed to just reacting and making the play. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. They'll run on first down with Akers. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a give, Akers running left. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's Akers, and the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll run this with Akers. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass 
supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And Gay knocks this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call. They're opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the best. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Atlanta now coming out on the field. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Mariota's throw taken in by London. performance all those points put on the board and Charles it wasn't just by the offense the defense put some points on the board as well they were solid today yeah it was a complete effort to secure the win and both sides of the ball made big plays but how demoralizing is it when the opposing defense can take one all the way back against you and that was the case here that really sparked them to victory